Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the PyCatracer activity a skills integration challenge. Now before that, friends, if you not yet subscribe this channel, you can subscribe so that you will get latest uploading video info into your mail. Well, coming to our packet tracer, here we can see our addressing table, and here we can see this uh, this addressing table is incomplete. Right. We will go through the scenario. In this challenge activity, you will finish the addressing scheme, configure routing, and implement named access control list. Coming to the requirements, yeah. Divide 172.16.128.0/19 into two equal subnets for use on branch here we can see our device branch and the interfaces gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 right assign the last usable ipv4 address of the second subnet to the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 interface assign the last usable ipv4 address of the first subnet to the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 interface then document the IPv4 addressing in the addressing table. Then configure branch with the appropriate IPv4 addressing. Right. So we will do this first. Coming to subnetting. Uh, here we can see this is the address what they given 172.16.128.0/19. So here I given the range uh, from 128.0/19. Uh, it goes till 159.255. Slash 19. So this network we have to uh, equally uh, divide. I mean, uh, equal, we have to uh, divide into two equal subnets. And here we can see uh, the first subnet uh, 172.16.128.0 slash 20 to uh, till we have to go 172.16.143.255. Then here we can see the second subnet uh, after 143 we have 144.0. Uh, till 172.16.159.255 slash 20 and here we can see the uh, subnet to mask uh, for the slash 20 255.255.240.0 here they mentioned assign the last usable ipv4 address of the second subnet to gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 interface here we can see our uh, second uh, subnet and here the broadcast address is 172.16.159.255 so here the last usable IP address will be 159.254 so this we are going to assign to our gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 for this device branch it's 254 and now we have to give the submit to mask 255.255.240.0 Next, we can see assign the last usable IPv4 address of the first subnet to the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 interface. Here we can see uh, the first uh, subnet and uh, here we can see the broadcast address that is 172.16.143.255. Hence, uh, here the last usable IP address will be 172.16.143.254. This address we are going to assign to uh, the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 uh, in this uh, device uh, branch 254 and here is the same submit to mask. Next is a document the IPv4 addressing in the addressing table. Yes, uh, we added this address uh, into, our, into our spreadsheet. Now configure a branch with appropriate IPv4 addressing. Well, we will do that. Coming to the router branch, CLI. Enable, here you will see all the interface status. Show IP interface brief. And here we can see only this is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Uh, set the IP address and this interface is up. We have to configure these two interfaces, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1. First of all, we will go to configure terminal and in the interface, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0. And we will set the IP address. So here is the address. And the submit to mask 255.255.240.0. And the no shut command. 
here we can see actually no need to give this not shut command because uh, these interfaces are up in this uh, show command here we can see uh, the status and the protocol are up only we have to set the IP address anyway no props now we will come to the next interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 and we will set the IP address here is that and to the submit to mask 255.255.240.0 now we will come to B. Configure B1 with appropriate IPv4 address using the first available address of the network to which it is attached. Assign 2001 colon db8 colon sead colon b1 double colon 1 slash 64 and 2001 colon db8 colon sead colon b2 double colon 1 slash 64 to branches gigabit authority 0 slash 0 and gigabit authority 0 slash 1 respectively. First of all, we will assign uh, appropriate IPv4 address uh, for this uh, device B1. Here we can see, uh, coming to the topology, uh, this B1 is connected to this router, router branch uh, to the interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Uh, here we can see that uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and uh, this address is uh, took from our uh, second uh, subnet, subnet 2. So we can use any IP address from this range. Here I am going to use the first usable IP address here for this PC. Coming to B1, IP configuration 144.1 and we have to change the subnet to mask. It's a 255.255.240.0. Then we have to give the default gateway uh, is the IP address of this uh, interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Right. Also, we will update our addressing table in this uh, spreadsheet uh, B1 uh, IP address. Then the uh, submit to mask slash 20 prefix length. And here the default gateway, this is the IP address uh, of this interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 in this router branch because uh, this network is connected to this interface in this router. Right. Next is IPv6 address. Here we can see this address. I will copy this. And we have to assign for the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 uh, for the device uh, branch. So I will uh, update our addressing table. Then uh, for the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1, this is the address. Right. Next is uh, configure branch with appropriate IPv6 addressing. Yes, uh, we documented that. We will get the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 address. Coming to branch, we have to go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and we will set the IPv6 address. We already copied that. So we will give you a short command. Now we will go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 and we will set the IPv6 address. We will get the address from our addressing table. Yes, coming to the router IPv6 address, here is the address and no shut command. Right. Next is the configure B1 and B2 with appropriate IPv6 addresses using the first available address of the network to which it is attached. Right, so coming to our addressing table, here we can see. Uh, we will uh, get to B1 and B2 both. I'm going to copy this uh, B2. Right. So for the B1, it is connected to gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Here we can see the address. I am going to copy this. And the uh, next address we are going to use. Okay. 
it is b1 double colon 2 and here we have to give the default gateway this IP address of this interface gigabit authority 0 slash 0 and coming to b2 we will come to our topology and here we can see it is connected to the interface gigabit authority 0 slash 1 so here we can see that address we will use the next address that is uh, b2 double colon 2 and now we have to give the default gateway that is the ipv6 address of this interface gigabit authority 0 slash 1 in this uh, branch right we will configure this ipv6 address uh, into this uh, b1 and b2 first of all we will get the ip address ipv6 address of b1 coming to b1 ip configuration here we can see ipv6 address and uh, prefix is slash 64 also we have to give ipv6 so gateway it's b1 double colon 1 coming to b2 we will get the ipv6 address b2 desktop ip configuration ipv6 address and uh, prefix 64 coming to ipv6 gateway it's a b2 double colon 1 coming to e document the addressing in the addressing table yes we have done that already here next is uh, configure hq and branch with ospf version 2 routing for ipv4 according to the following criteria assign the process id 1 advertise all attached ipv4 networks do not advertise the link to the internet configure appropriate interface as passive first of all we will uh, do it on the router uh, branch uh, here we can see uh, three connected networks uh, here we can see one uh, cdl connection that is the network is 192.168.0.0 also we have a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 uh, here are the networks we have seen that the first subnet we given to this interface i mean this network gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 that is 172.16 no no not the second one we given that is the subnet 2 uh, 172.16.144.0 and uh, for this network uh, uh, that is a gigabit ethernet uh, 0 slash 1 which is connected to this interface uh, we given this uh, address uh, subnet to 1 172.16.128.0 also here the prefix is uh, uh, 20 so here we have to find the wild card bits we have to subtract 255.255.255.255 uh, from this we have to subtract 255.255.240.255.255.255 so we will get 0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 yes we will give some underline here so that it will be more easy yes. so we get 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.240 255 minus 240 that's a 15.255 coming to the configuration branch enable configure terminal here we are going to give a router ospf and the process id 1 here we are going to give the network 172.16.128.0 and now we have to give the wild card bits uh, already we have seen 0.0.15.255 also we have to give the area 0 and the next network We'll press up arrow and uh, 172.16 dot we have 144.0 with the same wild card bits and area and coming to the next network uh, serial uh, connection 192.168.0.0 .0 .0 
and the wildcard bits there we have seen the prefix slash 30 so the wildcard bits will be 0 .0 0.0.0.3 and the area 0 also we have to set the passive interface gigabit third 0 slash 0 we have and we have gigabit third 0 slash 1 coming to the router HQ uh, here we can see uh, four interfaces uh, but one interface we can see it goes to the internet uh, so now we need to um, set uh, this interface uh, this network and other networks we can see 172.16.0.0 slash 18 and here we can see 172.16.64.0 slash 18 and the serial connection 192.168.0.0 slash 30 so we will uh, configure uh, OSPF uh, in this router HQ also we have to set the passive interface here we can see uh, gigabit ethernet uh, 0 slash 1 and uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 right coming to the configuration and this router hq enable configure terminal router osp of process id 1 we will give the different network 172.16 dot 64 dot 0 then we have to give the wildcard bits that is 0 dot 0 dot 63 dot 255 and the area 0 now we will give the next network that is 172 dot 16 dot 0 dot 0 with the same wildcard bits and the area and we have network 192.168.0.0 with the wildcard bits 0.0. .0 oops space 0.0.0.3 with the area 0 correct now we will set the passive interfaces so gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 Coming to G, set a IPv4 default route on HQ which directs traffic to serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 interface. Redistribute to a route to branch. Alright, so we will come to our router HQ. Here uh, before going out of the router, here we can give a default information originate. And here we have to give IP root 0.0.0.0 space 0.0.0.0 space serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Now we will come to H. Design an IPv4 named access list HQ server to prevent any computers attached to the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface of the branch router from accessing HQ server dot PKA. All other traffic is permitted. Configure the access list on the appropriate router, apply it to the appropriate interface and in the appropriate direction. Yes, so here as per the instruction, uh, we are going to create an IPv4 named access list. Uh, here we are going to prevent any computers attached to, to this uh, interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0. Uh, so any device. Hence we are going to uh, create this access list in this router branch and we are going to uh, apply uh, uh, to this uh, interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 as uh, uh, inbound process. Coming to the configuration uh, on this router branch. Enable configure terminal IP access list. We are going to create extended uh, access list. Now we have to specify the name. A specified HQ server. Here we are going to deny IP uh, any source to the host so we have to get the IP address of the server hq server dot pka uh, in our addressing table here we can see that address I'm going to copy this 172.16.0.1 
and here we are going to paste that yes and now we are going to uh, permit ip any any that means uh, we uh, uh, we permit all other traffic now we have to apply the success list to to the correct uh, uh, interface so we have to apply to the gigabit authority zero slash zero ip access group then we have to give the name hq server in coming to i design an ipv4 a named access list branch server to prevent any computers attached to the gigabit thorn 0 slash 0 interface of the hq router from accessing the http and the https service of the branch server all other traffic is permitted configure the access list on the appropriate router apply it to the appropriate interface and in the appropriate direction here we are going to create an ipv4 named access list uh, named branch server uh, to prevent any computers attached to the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 here we can see that network in this router hq from accessing uh, this uh, http and https service uh, from this uh, branch server dot pka so we have to get the ip address of this branch server dot pka coming to our addressing table here we can see that i am going to copy this address we are going to design uh, this uh, ipv4 access list in this uh, router hq and we will apply uh, this uh, uh, access list to this interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 as uh, uh, in coming to hq enable configure terminal ip access list extended and here we have to give the name as specified branch server here we are going to deny tcp any the destination host address that is our uh, blank server address here is that so here we are going to deny uh, this http and http yes so either we can give www or uh, the port number 80 also we are going to deny https that is 443 and we have to permit other traffic permit ip any source host to any destination host now we will apply to the correct interface interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 IP access group branch server inbound packets coming to the last one design an IPv6 access list named uh, NO-B1 to prevent any IPv6 traffic originating on B1 to reach the branch server dot PKA no traffic should be permitted from B1 to branch server dot PKA apply the IPv6 access to the most appropriate location interface and direction here we are going to design an ipv6 named access list uh, to prevent any ipv6 traffic uh, from this uh, device b1 only from this device b1 uh, to this uh, uh, server uh, that is uh, branch server dot pka so we can create this uh, access uh, list in this router branch and we can to uh, we can apply to this interface gigabit ethernet uh, 0 slash 1 as uh, out coming to the configuration in this uh, router branch enable configure terminal we are going to create ipv6 access list and we have to give the name no-b1 and here we are going to deny ipv6 and here we are going to give the uh, 
uh, single source host we have to give a host then we have to specify ipv6 address we have to get the uh, ipv6 address of this device b1 here we can see that i'm going to copy this address right now we are going to give a single destination host we have to get the ipv6 address of this prime server dot pka here is that we will paste it here right and we are going to permit ipv6 any to any now we will apply this access list to the correct interface coming to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 here we are going to give ipv6 we have a traffic filter then we have to give a access list name that is no hyphen b1 as outbound packet we will verify the access list the first access list uh, we had given uh, we are denying to access this hq server dot pka from this network so we will get the ip address of this hq server here we can see that and we will try to access from this network no we are not getting the web page ACL is working right so we will try from this B2 yes we are getting the web page also we will try from this HEQ1 yes we are getting the web page uh, next access list uh, what we created is uh, we denied uh, this network to access uh, this uh, branch server dot pka we will try that we will get the ip address of this branch server dot pka here is that and we will try to access this uh, server uh, from this network No, we are not getting the web page. ACL is working. We will try to access from other networks. So we should get the web page. Yes, we are getting the web page. Uh, we will uh, try from uh, B2. Yes, we are getting. Also, we will try from B1. Yes, we are getting. Well, uh, that's all in this Piker Tracer activity, uh, skills integration challenge. Friends, if you have any doubt in this Piker Tracer activity, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into our mail. Thank you.